guys, welcome back. Today we're going to create a custom role using PowerShell. First thing we have to do is make sure that we have a PowerShell ISE window open. <coughs> then we're going to log into our Azure subscription and to use the login AZ account command. Okay, once we're in, make sure we're in the right subscription, which is correct. We're in the trial subscription. Now I'm going to get a list of the operations that I'm interested in playing around with today. The command I'll use for that is get az provider operation. And to save myself some time going through the list, I'll just put a search string in there. We're actually going to use the support ticket read operation today. That's what we're going to assign our custom role. This one up here. This is the one we're going to assign today. Okay. Might just put a note up in here for now. Comment that out just in case I forget later. Okay. So we're going to use this command to output the JSON of the reader role. Not it. Get easy role definition. There we go. Name reader. Let's have a look at that first. So this is the reader role. I'm just going to run a command to get az role def definition command, convert it to JSON and out file to a JSON file so we can see what it looks like in a text editor. That's it then. That's what it looks like in JSON. What we're going to do here is we're going to add the Microsoft support. Action. Okay, then we'll save it. And what we need to do is we need to get the subscription ID, which is this one here. And we need to replace it. the assignable scopes save that again and then we're going to create the new role definition new role definition and our input file will be this file here we didn't actually rename that role so let's call it reader support tickets and try that again here we go. Now what we can do is we can look at all the custom role definitions. Just have to do a bit of a search string here so we don't get everything. And the 
think it's something in there. Those are our rolls. I accidentally created two. It's okay. So now if we go back to our Azure portal, look at the subscription. The subscription. <coughs> go to access control. Roles. Our role was called, well, the two roles that we created are here. Read support tickets, read support tickets definition. We can see that these are both custom roles because we've made them ourselves. So now let's go back and delete those two roles. So let's run this command again with ID in there. And now what we're able to do is type the command let remove az role definition ID. And we'll get rid of this one. And we'll also get rid of the other one we made. And we're done. Thanks guys, hope that helps.